Scorpio, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for August 2018. And Scorpio, before we jump in and get to this business, I have got an awesome special going on for my Astrology 101 or the Astrology 101 and 102 sessions. There's a full video about it on the channel. Check it out so you know the hows and whys, but I would love to have you in these sessions that kick off in September. All the details are in the description box down below. Of course, you can always come to stormygrace.com, but check out the video. It's awesome, okay? This month is awesome as well. <laughs> May not feel like the full forward launch that we were hoping for. Now, every month I have a sign that is just very straight to the point for me. The channel information is just crystal. And for me this month, it is definitely you, Scorpio. So let's jump in here and talk about what's going on. First and foremost, we're coming into the month with one of your co-rulers, Mars, still in retrograde as well. We've got a lot of other retrogrades that are still happening. Now we'll have some friends going direct this month, but we're still coming in in a high retrograde time. So this is not a full blast into the next month, right? This is not like, oh, really? Really finds me. We're continuing this energy of needing to look back over things, but you've still got some beautiful energy that begins this month and will unfold over the next six months. So if it feels like nothing's happening, everything's happening, I promise, okay? Right here at the very beginning of the month, we've got Venus moving into the sign of Libra. Now for you, this is the 12th house space. So I will tell you that um, if what you've been feeling called to do is have a little bit of forgiveness, compassion, downtime, you've been wanting to play a little bit. And Scorpio, for so many of you, I kind of have this vision and this feel for you that Venus here in the 12th house is really aligning some harmony or bringing some clarity to the fact that life is short. Life is just absolutely short. So somewhere between the elderly and the young, it's like this evaluation of life is definitely happening. Now, another thing I think that Venus is helping here in this 12th house is to shed, because in the 12th house, you're getting rid of some patterns. You've got patterns, behaviors, beliefs, attachments, tie downs, projects that are behind the scenes, things like that. And Venus is helping you. She's putting some soft, some magic on them so that you can release and get ready to move forward, because we're doing a lot of re releasing this month, okay? Now, on the 7th, Uranus is going to turn retrograde in Taurus, so lighting up your 7th house. Now, when Uranus is retrograde here, one of the things you're going to look back over is where you've compromised your personal freedom, right? Where do you need to go back to, to some more personal freedom? Where do you need to um, find space to be creative and do things differently, have some more intuition around relationships in your life? Now, this could be all sorts of relationships, business relationships, the relationship of you with you. You've been going through some changes. You've got a different life coming up. You're probably figuring out how to be in this next phase of your life, right? Um, relationships with romantic partners, children. There's a lot of relating that is definitely at shift while Uranus is retrograde. And what I like about it for you is whatever changes are needed in relationships, um, Uranus retrograde actually stirs up the internal capacity and desire to make those changes. So really kind of a beautiful, beautiful energy to be working with, okay? Okay. Now on the 11th, we've got this new moon partial solar eclipse happening in the sign of Leo. So at the top of your chart, the 10th house. Now we've also got Mercury retrograde here, right? So what is what does this look like for you? First and foremost, I think that this is a huge change to your career direction. I mean, I'm sure you've been looking back over thinking, discussing, trying to make some decisions about work from the past or maybe even finishing something up with an, a job or some portion of your career or your soul level calling, you've maybe been speaking about, thinking about, making decisions about or looking over. Now the solar eclipse is our new moon for the month. So this is our place where we plant these seeds of intention. This is the new beginnings. But because it's a solar eclipse, this pans out for about six months, right? You get this boom, big burst of energy. So what this looks like for you is changing that career direction or something really good coming in your career. Now, I will tell you that because Mercury is still retrograde, um, you may not feel as productive. You may not feel like things are actually moving forward. You may be wanting to have conversations with your boss or, or with your marketing company or with your guru and you're feeling like it's not connecting. That energy will change. Mercury goes 
direct on the 19th. So just, it's not the time. You don't have force and power and control, which is your thing. You don't have it this month to push things forward. So just try and be with it. Now, one of the other things I was kind of thinking about for you um, as well with um, Mars being retrograde as we come into the month in your fourth house, that's created a little bit of issue. I'll talk about that in a second. But in connection to this solar eclipse and this new career beginning, because Mars is going to move back up into Capricorn into your third house, if you have study that you are gonna be doing, maybe your new job or your new course of action or your new life calling is taking you someplace to study, maybe even someplace foreign to study, someplace different, someplace that kind of lights your heart up, or maybe you're starting a new job or something like that. I just feel like the energy of study and travel are very much so on the table for you as well. So if that's something you've got going on, Scorpio, then woot woot, I absolutely support you, okay? Now, that said, yes, Mars is retrograde in that fourth house in the sign of Aquarius for you. So this is definitely bringing some fourth house energy to the table. There could be things happening in your family with one of your children in your physical housing situation. And you kind of feel like, I don't necessarily like this. I'm not sure that I, I enjoy the way that this is going, but you're also in a position where you can't force or control or push change. Go with the flow to the best of your ability. This energy will move on. And like I said, once we get to the 12th, um, Mars is gonna be moving backwards into that third house space. So the study becomes available to you again. You're looking back over it. You're looking over communication, your thought process, all of these things. But the family situation is certainly on the table this month, okay? Now, on the 19th, we've got Mercury coming direct. Woo, woo, you can make some decisions. You can have some conversations. You can get ready. Um, I think because the solar eclipse is bringing in some new opportunities for business, career, calling, whatever, you have an opportunity to make some better decisions with this energy here. And like I said, they speak to your heart. They speak to your joy. Maybe you're making some decisions um, around that childlike energy for you because Leo is very much so of the heart of that childlike energy. Whatever it is, your retrograde time I think you start to see the benefits of all of the information you were gathering, the things you were shedding, and your willingness to do things a little bit differently in order to move forward. On the 23rd, we've got the sun moving into Virgo. You're going to breathe in some Virgo qualities, maybe even some new friends coming around to the table, social groups, being social, things like that. On the 26th, full moon happening in the sign of Pisces. Now this is emotional because it's the moon. Pisces is a water energy. We've got emotions happening here. You are a water energy. So emotions could certainly be on the table. Now at the full moon, we end something, acknowledge something or adjust. So we make a shift here. Okay. So one of the things that I keep um, thinking about is because this is the fifth house, maybe in terms of something you were excited about, you wanted to begin, you were passionate about, you may find that it needs adjustment or change. And it's very emotional to you. This could be um, things happening with your children. You know, let's just say that, you know, this it's going to be the school time. Maybe your kids are going off to their new year of school and you're realizing time is precious and you know what I mean? Whatever it is. This could also be an energy where I feel like for you, if you have been holding back on hobbies, getting yourself out there, playing, laughing, having that joy in your life, you're going to have to reevaluate that. But there's just a strong tie for me around career and children and study for you this month. So I do believe that it is potentially um, child related. Now, for some of you, this is also a very good energy for pregnancy. So just putting that out there. If you don't want that, make sure you do what you need to do to not have that, okay? On the 27th, Mars is going to turn direct in the sign of Capricorn. Now, Mars being one of your co-ruling planets, beautiful energy you kind of get your mojo back you're feeling like okay all right so we've got mercury back who is direct we've got mars who's direct we've had a solar eclipse the world gets to start to progress forward and i think you see some really beautiful changes happening to your world um if you're willing to take some risks everything this month i mean leo is a risk taking energy right investments gambling chance it's energy of risks. You're going to have to be willing to take some risks, not control the things that are around you. Kind of enjoy, enjoy is a strong word for you. Um, experience um, the feeling of powerlessness a little bit this month over certain situations in your, in your world. Go with the flow because the flow is taking you to the next place. And here's what I tell people all the time. 
Whenever we get into the proper position, we're getting aligned with the truth. It feels like our lives are falling apart, right? And I think that's just the universe, God, whatever you call it, shaking out all of the things that we don't actually need and getting us set up for the next course of our journey, right? And that's what you want. You want to travel light so you can travel at the speed of love, not carrying all this minutia. So whatever's trying to fall out of your life this month, let it go because plenty is trying to fall in, okay? All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I hope to see you in the Astrology 101 and 102 classes. I mean, you can take 101 for $40, 102 and 101 for 75. Come, come study with me. Come study with me, okay? All right, guys, I love you, and I'll see you next month. Bye.